Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here with some breaking news. Now, I was just working on a class associated with To Be Of. And as I was editing that class, I got a news flash across my phone that there was a massive explosion in Lebanon, in Beirut. That made it quite difficult to continue editing that class because Lebanon is only six hours from Jerusalem and we're expecting something serious to go down over and around Jerusalem during this time. Tubiav 2020, if you check our channel, we've been doing several classes on how these are extremely important days when it comes to the third temple. And like we talk about, there's many people who believe that this third temple will be a brick and mortar temple built on the Temple Mount. Well, that presents these guys with a problem is because the Dome of the Rock is actually built on that Temple Mount. Well, let me jump over here and show you a biblical fact associated with the Temple Mount that you may not have heard before or may not have thought about. That's over here in the book of Daniel and chapter 12. We've done many, many classes on this subject before, so you can see those as we've done this calculation many times in great detail. But this one, I just want to show you something really, really quickly. And that's how in Daniel's prophecy given in Daniel chapter 12 and verses 11 and 12, he's talking about the Temple Mount. See right here where he says the daily sacrifice shall be taken away. That was when Nebuchadnezzar and his bunch went in and burned the temple there in 606 BC and took all of the instruments used for the daily sacrifice into Jerusalem. What Daniel is being told here in this prophecy is that 1,290 days after that event takes place, they will build the Dome of the Rock on the same Temple Mount. You see right there where it says the abomination that maketh desolate set up. That's talking about the Dome of the Rock built in 685 AD. If you do the math from 606 BC and add 1290 years plus one year because there was no year zero, you end up in 685 AD, which is when they built the Dome of the Rock on the Temple Mount. Now, that was considered a bad day when it comes to the Temple Mount, because like it says here, it was an abomination that make it desolate. And what it means by make it desolate is that it ran all of the Israelite people out of Jerusalem. That's what desolate means is the people left. You hear about people talking about how the individuals over there in Israel now aren't Israelites. They are the nation of Israel. But Jerusalem is desolate of all Israelites. Anyway, you look down in verse 12, it's talking about a blessing that will occur 1,335 years later. Well, when you start at 685 and add 1,335 years, you end up with the year 2020. This prophecy given by Daniel is saying that something is going to happen over in Jerusalem in the year 2020. And the Bible is extremely accurate and precise. So when it's talking about the daily sacrifice being taken away, that would be the start date. And when did the daily sacrifice get taken away? You look over here in Jeremiah chapter 52 and verse 12. You see that that occurred on the 10th day of the fifth month, which is known as Tisha B'Av. So when was Tisha B'Av? That was about July the 30th, less than a week ago. This is why you have so much excitement around Tisha B'Av and people are expecting big things to happen about that date. I even mentioned in one of my videos that that was the early date for the Great Awakening that is to take place in all of humanity. But like I said, in that event, there will be something over in Jerusalem that will trigger this great awakening. What I was saying in that video is that anything can happen starting on or after that date. And today 
is another minor feast day called Tubiav which could also fall within that prophecy given to Daniel over there about something happening around the Temple Mount in the year 2020. But that ain't the big thing that I want to show you guys. What I really want you to see is this explosion that took place over there. You can see this over on YouTube but the first video that I looked at about this explosion it looks like a nuclear explosion. This looks like a mushroom cloud, guys. They say it went off by a firecracker plant, but I ain't never seen a firecracker act like that. Look at this explosion. Now, if that don't look like a nuclear mushroom cloud, I don't know what does. Watch it again. That's nuclear, guys. <clears throat> I could be wrong. I wanted to hurry up and put this video up. I could be wrong. But to have stuff blowing up over and around Jerusalem in the fifth month of 2020... We really need to start paying attention, guys. 2020 is already off the chain. And if this is, in fact, a nuclear explosion, this could be along the same lines as the events that we have been talking about and waiting for. All right. So with that, I'm going to wrap this up. If you have if you got something out of this video, hit the like button. If you didn't hit the dislike button, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell notification button and leave us a comment as well as pray for us. Oh. And remember to pray for those people over in Lebanon and pray that the leaders of the world make wise and peaceful decisions. And Shalom.